guys, it's Melissa. In this video, I am going to show you exactly how to get white to print where you want it when you are printing on the Roll-In BY20. I am so used to saying BN. This is a BY20. This is the 20-inch Roll-In DTF printer, second generation. So there are times, obviously, that you not only need white on the back of your design, for sure if you're printing DTF transfers that are going on any color besides white shirt, you're gonna want white on the back of your design. But there are also times when there is white in your design. So for example, let's say you have a Santa. He has a beard, obviously. If you don't, if you are printing your transfer and the white in the design is not printing, you're gonna have a black Santa's beard if it's on a black shirt, a green, a purple, whatever it may be. So you obviously want white to print in your design and on the back of your design. So how do you do that? So here is an example. Obviously, these both have white on the back, but the one here has white in the design as well, and that is intentional. Now, this one maybe, it doesn't necessarily have to have white. Maybe you don't mind if the black shirt shows through on this one. But let's say you have this example down here where this is your logo and it's going on a black shirt and this banner right here is supposed to be white in your logo. So the struggle has been getting white from a design to print in the design and on the back. And so I'm gonna show you how to do this very quickly using Flexi Designer that comes free with Roll-In BY20. Let's go. Not only are the letters, the text here is all white, but so is this banner, okay? So I'm gonna size this down just a little bit, so just for the sake of printing. Um, and I'm gonna duplicate this again, just so for demonstration purposes. So I'll just right click on it and then click duplicate, and I'll now have two copies. Now, oops. on one of these copies, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to leave it as it is. The other copy, I am going to add the white under base. So I'm going to select this one right here on the right. So we'll click effects and then under base and then solid under base is what we're going to do for this one. Now what solid under base is going to do is it is going to fill the entire, it's basically going to put an entire layer of white behind our design. Okay. Now you can adjust this however you want, but this is essentially the choke. I shouldn't say it's essentially, it is the choke. You saw it had the there you go, see, choke distance. You don't want choke distance to be at zero because that means the white is gonna print to the very, very edge. And there are times where it will essentially bleed out and you will show a white edge. We don't want that, so we wanna keep it inside a little bit, okay? So once you um, have made your settings, oh, let me do that one more time so you can see. So selected, effects, under base, solid under base, okay? And then we're just gonna click the check mark to tell it, yes, I wanna do this, okay? Now, next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna go up here to this blue icon here, and that's the send to device. So in Flexi here, I've got my, my two images, and I'm gonna go to print parameters, okay? So um, media type, you basically have two options. Are you putting it on a dark shirt, or are you putting it on a white shirt? Okay, we're doing dark and standard, and then this mode is going to, um, default is CMYK and then white, okay? If you only want color, you can pick that mode. If you only want white, you can pick that code, but, or that mode, but most likely you're gonna be picking CMYK white, okay? And then generated pattern, this is really, really important to the point that I have told role in my recommendation is really to gray these two options out. Those are, I don't want to say dangerous, but your 99% of people are not going to want those 99% of the time. And all it's going to do is waste a whole bunch of your white ink. So always stay on print area. Okay. You want to have your design mirrored and then you're going to click. Okay. Now from here, you'll be able to click send. And this is going to send the print to uh, your printer and it will begin printing. You can see this massive difference here between adding that under, under base and not. So this is definitely the way that you are going to want to go with that. All right, you guys, that's it. So make sure you are following along, looking for tutorials for the BY20. I have all of those in a playlist. Also, if you are seeing videos on the uh, rolling utility for the BN2, it all those 
videos will also apply to the BY20. Most of the Flexi Designer um, uh, tutorials videos will also apply although obviously with the eco solvent version you're using cut lines with the roll-in you're using or with the DTF you're using uh, that white layer so there are some differences but the functionality of of uh, sending to the device and different things like that from Flexi Designer is uh, there is crossover between the two so you can use uh, tutorials and videos for one for the other as well. All right, you guys, everything, links and everything below for supplies, my recommendations, best bundles, everything you need, description below. Make sure you hit subscribe so you don't miss anything. And of course, I'll see you here and on Silhouette School Vlog, hopefully Silhouette you as well. See you guys.